Weather last night left its mark in Davie. A huge tree came down in the rain and wind, and we've just learned that it was a small tornado that caused this mess. Weather experts were back out at the scene this morning to look at the damage, and so is CBS4's Maribel Rodriguez. She joins us live with the very latest. Maribel, good afternoon. Walter, good afternoon. Just a few minutes ago, I did speak with a meteorologist from the National Weather Service. As you mentioned, he was out here surveying the damage, and he says based on the direction of the damage, like this massive tree here in Davie that uprooted and toppled over. Yes, they can confirm that it was a small tornado that touched down last night here in Davie. <laughs> tree trimmers in Davie hard at work since the early hours of the morning. Wednesday night storms bringing in lots of rain and strong winds. The nasty weather snapped trees in half, like this one in the Ivanhoe community, and this massive tree uprooted a few feet away in front of Bob Wilinski's home. The storms were coming through, but I was looking out my back patio and I heard the wind coming, just flying through there. It sounded like a uh, hurricane, like when Wilma came through. And I said, I better come out front because I knew this tree is big. His huge tree had toppled over, blocking the road. The town of Davie stepped in to help late in the evening, but this morning, reality sunk in. I was just getting estimates, mm -hmm. so I'm taking my heart pills as the prices are coming out. At Imagination Farms, crews cleared debris of tree limbs scattered throughout Orange Drive west of Flamingo, and at one point they had to run for cover as the bad weather threatened their work. <laughs> <laughs> Throughout the night and into the early hours, FBL crews worked on replacing a power pole and power lines knocked over by the powerful winds that rolled in. It sounded like a train type thing and, you know, the house kind of moving a little bit. Brandon Munnenfell said he and his mom saw what appeared to be a small tornado or funnel cloud rip across the lake behind his home. Their paddle boat went flying and so did their backyard swing winding up in the pool. I saw the wind actually pick it up lift it up and drop it into my pool. And Dennis Feldkin with Noah managed to capture this video of a funnel cloud and possible tornado from his backyard in Silver Lakes near Pembroke Road. We uh, surveyed the area here in uh, Davie and it looks like it was a, uh, a tornado, what we call an EF0 tornado. Uh, that's on the lower end of the, of the uh, tornado scale. Winds generally that's in the 70 to 80 mile an hour range. And Robert Molleda with the National Weather Service also told us most of the damage that he surveyed in this area is to that of trees. And while there was no visual of the tornado, once again, yes, they can confirm that a small tornado did touch down here in Davie, causing some damage like to this massive tree at the Walinskis. By the way, I spoke with him. He says uh, so far the estimate that he's gotten to remove the tree, $3,000. We're live in Davie. Maribel Rodriguez, CBS 4 News.